Hey, what's up guys? This is Jake, and today is New Year's Eve, 2009. Uh, tomorrow will be a new year, 2010, starting a new decade. It's kind of hard to believe, but um, a lot of new exciting things planned for the upcoming year and the upcoming decade for Hookah Daily. Um, but today, on New Year's Eve, we are reviewing Starbuzz Exotic Wildberry Mint. This is one of the older flavors from Starbuzz. It's actually been around for um, about a, about two years now, and um, <clears throat> as far as the uh, cut of the shisha, it's your typical Starbucks cut. It's um, actually one of their orange brown colors, um, as you can kind of see there. It's kind of on the on the golden side. Um, there are a few stems. It's this very 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 wet, drippy, juicy stuff. Um, Want to go ahead and thank Neil at World Hookah for sending the Starbucks Wildberry Mint out to us for a review. Um, uh, keep in mind too, we have a bunch of flavors from a bunch of other vendors coming out to us and we're excited to uh, get those reviewed. Me and Tyler and Andrew and the whole crew and whatever intern Shisha reviewers are nice enough to put us some, some reviews together. Uh, we'll be happy to review those for you. Um, let's talk a little bit about the smell of this Wildberry Mint um, Starbucks. What's interesting about the smell is it smells very, very, very similar just to the Starbucks Wild, Wildberry. There's a Wildberry flavor that we've reviewed in the past. Um, and you get that berry and that, that sweetness, um, but you definitely smell like the strawberry, the blueberry, the raspberry in there. Whereas I believe the, uh, the raspberry is the most dominant flavor in there that, that, that you smell at least. And you do get that, kind of that, just that slight scent of mint right at the very end on the, on the exhale. You, you get that, that coolness from the mint. Well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the taste. Much of the same. You get a lot of that raspberry in there. Um, I can't help but to to say that this tastes more like a raspberry mint rather than a, a wildberry mint because the raspberry, um, something I don't think I mentioned in the previous wildberry review, is you taste a whole lot of raspberry. But it is supposed to have blueberries and it is supposed to have strawberries on there, as you can see by the can here. It has the strawberries, the raspberries, and the blueberries on it. Um, but you, to me, it tastes like raspberry mint. Um, but um, the mint is definitely very strong when you're smoking it. You do get that really cooling aftertaste uh, when you're on the exhale. So um, that's pretty much what I'm tasting. Raspberry on the inhale, maybe a little bit of you know blueberry and strawberry undertones, and then you get that uh, mint on whenever you, whenever you uh, blow the smoke. So um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, duration. Um, this bowl has been going for probably about um, I don't know 30 minutes or so, but we don't want to skip the clouds. So let's go ahead and see what kind of clouds this puts out. Pretty decent clouds. Um, like I said, this bowl has been going for 30 minutes. We're smoking out of our standard Egyptian hookah. We have a funnel bowl, medium size on top. Three coconut coals, which are kind of dwindling and actually need to be moved around a little bit. Um, and just the grand hose. Um, aluminum foil water in the base. Um, as far as the buzz, no buzz whatsoever. Um, it's early in the morning. I haven't eaten or anything, so I'm sure if I keep on smoking like a you know, like a maniac, I'm pretty sure I'll have a headache here in a little while, but um, no buzz, no head spin, no nothing. Um, as far as an overall scale, this is one of my uh, kind of middle of the road flavors. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I think I like Wildberry Mint more than the Wildberry. Um, but I'm going to give the Wildberry Mint an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Um, not quite a 9 because it's not up there with some of my favorites like the Sex on the Beach and, and the other flavors. Definitely not up there with like Blue Mist or, or anything like that or Passion Kiss or one of those. Um, but um, definitely an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Um, solid flavor. Smoke it if you got it. If you don't got it, no big deal. Um, but anyways, this has been Jake with HookahDaily.com, uh, the definitive hookah resource website on the internet. I'm glad that you guys are going to ring in the new year with us on Hookah Daily. A lot of exciting things planned. Um, remember, we give $100 a month away to a random member. Um, we give, we're giving a Starbucks Kilo away this month, or January. Um, and we have forums launching in January, too. So if you guys make sure you guys come and register for the forums in January. It's going to be very exciting. We're going to need moderators. We're going to need active members. So you guys hit it up. Until next time, you guys keep smoking.